going on guys? There's a lot of videos online for the Tesla High Power Wall Connector install. Um, I wanted to do mine because I haven't seen any that feature the um, corded option for it. And a lot of other uh, wall connectors out there for other vehicles, J1772, things like that, that have a corded option, even longer cord. Um, I'm not an electrician. Check with your local code to make sure what's okay for your area. Um, I did this piece here and left this cord dangling. Had an electrician come in and do this and this. The electrician also checked out all of this here and signed off, said it was A-OK. -okay. So a couple things that this is going to require that was difficult for me to find was there's a cable gland under here. Um, it kind of keeps it in place. I got it from a local place in town uh, called Gray Bar Electric, like 10 bucks. What you do is as it tightens down, it cinches down on that cord, so that's what keeps it in there nice and tight. So um, I'm going to give you just a quick look at this so you can see what it's like and what it uh, how it functions, see if this would work for you. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is the thing that everybody on the internet loves. We're going to remove this plastic. Oh, yeah. So, first thing we'll start with is this cord. Um, this is just NEMA 1450. And they're nice and tight. This is a NEMA 1450 plug right here. So it's got all the characteristics of the NEMA 1450. And what I did is I just went to um, Lowe's or Home Depot or a local hardware store and got kind of the dryer plug. So what you would do with the other end of this is hook this up to your dryer, cut off the um, little copper eyelets that were on the end of it that allow you to put it into the dryer remove those and wire this directly in to the charger. Alright, so here's that cable gland that's down here. It's a one inch on this side here that screws in. There's also a little area for you to grab onto that with a wrench to get it really tight inside there. Um, so the key to doing this is before you put this cable into here to wire it up, make sure all the pieces for this are on. There's also kind of a rubber grommet inside of here so that it it gets even tighter and uh, kind of watertight on here because this is meant to, this whole unit here is designed to be outside if need be. So this guy as you tighten, it's as tight as it'll go right now, but as you tighten, that's loosening it. So as you tighten, as you loosen, it'll adjust. There's that little rubber grommet inside of there. Um, there's the cord grabber that goes in there. And so as you tighten, it'll push against that and grab on more and more to that cable so that's in there very good very sturdy so what I'm gonna go ahead and do now we've got the connector got the plug we've got the power feed into it we've got the NEMA 1450 outlet we've got the breaker we're gonna turn the breaker on we're gonna see some green lights turn on in this guy letting us know hey we did everything right and we're ready to plug in a vehicle. Alright, so starting at the uh, the breaker here, we've got our 50 amp breaker inside there connected to our NEMA 1450 receptacle. Our NEMA 1450 plug cable goes along into the Tesla high power wall connector. We've got our cable gland joint down here that tightens down, cinches everything together, everything's in there nice and tight. This is affixed to the wall via stud and wall anchor, so we're golden there. Reasons why I went with what I did. 24 foot cable, most charging flexibility. I can charge the car in the other stall, I can charge the car in the driveway, I can charge the car right here. Eight foot would have sufficed for one vehicle, but I have options. Um, for $50 more, those options were worth it to me. I went with the cabled installation because there's a potential we could be moving. There's a potential that this could have issue, and I still have the NEMA 1450 to fall back on to plug in the UMC or any other vehicle charger. EVs are going to get big. I have a few friends that have some that they'll be able to plug in and charge here now, regardless. Um, so that's why I went with this solution for uh, connecting it. Contacted Tesla. They seemed okay with it, didn't have any concerns about it. Uh, it's a little difficult explaining what I was trying to do to them, but after that, um, yeah, they said there's no issue. The, the, there's other chargers out on the market or, or connectors that um, do have a corded option. They've got the you know strain relief cable here, and they plug into the wall. So um, I'm pretty happy with this. 
Uh, well, I want to know if anybody else is thinking about doing the same kind of idea. So if you are, let me know in the comments. If you've already done it, I'd love to see how you guys went about doing it. Um, getting this cable in here nice and tight. There were some other options that uh, were metal options, different things like that. But I wanted a kind of a, a look that seemed more more uh, OEM type thing there. So uh, I think that looks pretty good. Hope you guys do too. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.